Son of a... You have something I desire. The Eternity Forge. Maybe I should quit while I'm ahead. Go out on a high note. I keep thinking about Nebula. Imagine how she's gonna react when she finds out we killed Thanos. Yeah, well, what she doesn't know won't come back to stab us. Look, just leave her alone. Thanos eradicated my people. Destroyed my planet. Now that you have killed him, the Eternity Forge will be our salvation. You have his body? <laughs> I can't believe it. We'll dispatch some officers to your location. The galaxy owes you a debt it can never repay. I will not rest until we have conquered every star system in the galaxy. Starting with you. Come find me, Peter. <gasps> Holy shit. Yet. Whoa! No! No, 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 no! What no, is no, this no. dark sorcery? Back, foul demon! Uh... I am Whoa! Brute. Hey! This is not normal! Get behind me! I will protect you from this monstrosity. Hey, easy on the Milano, okay? She's been through enough, don't you think? I'm sorry, I panicked. How are you... Yeah, so, uh... I guess I was dead, and now uh, apparently I'm not. This is impossible. Impossible is one thing. This? <laughs> this is freaky. How do we know you are really Peter Quill? Prove it to me. What do you expect him to do? If he is really Peter Quill, he will know. Oh, come on. Who else could master these sick moves? Stop. Stop doing that with your pelvis. What? This? <sighs> that is most disturbing. Okay. Great. Everybody calm now? Huh? We cool? No! I am Groot. He's right. The dead don't just come back. There's gotta be a catch. I mean, this is insane. You see that, don't okay, you? Okay, Rocket, just... Everything comes at a cost. We just don't know what it is yet. Do you think I'll get superpowers? Heat vision? Invisibility? Ooh, maybe I'll be able to pass through walls. If that's the case, then we're all doomed. You don't want to take this seriously, then fine. What was that? It's Hala. She's caught up to us. Everyone upstairs, we gotta move. I already died once today. I really don't want to try it again. Everyone, hold on. Things are gonna get a little bumpy. Yeah, that'll help. Peter, you just died. Are you sure you're okay to fly? Oh, uh, easy, Quill. That answer your question? <laughs> Not really. I am. Root says he's gonna puke again. <laughs> <laughs> I think 
think we lost her. This Holla lady's relentless. Why she want this Eternity thing so bad? Her ship was full of dead Kree. Thousands of them preserved in stasis pods. Uh, okay. Huh. Now I might puke. Save it for when we land, buddy. She could create an unlimited army of Kree soldiers. If this relic falls into Hala's hands, that's bad news. For everybody. Agreed. Although I would relish in killing her. And then bringing her back to life. And then killing her again. And then bringing her back to life. And then killing her again. And then bringing her back to life. And we then get it, Drax. <sighs> now that will be a fair fight. One I would not lose. You know, I'm all for people having opinions, but sometimes Drax shouldn't be allowed to speak. <laughs> yes, Groot. Now is one of those times. Then we can't risk her getting a hold of this relic. Can't the galaxy stay guarded for like five friggin' minutes? I mean, come on! No matter how far we run, Hala will not stop hunting us. Milano can't take much more of this, Pete. I barely got her up and running after your last so-called landing. If we don't find some place to lay low and fix our ship... Yeah, I'm on it. Look, I just need her to hold together for a little longer, Rocket. I might know someone who can help us out. Holla on our trail. Let me do the talking. Quill? If you're here, trouble ain't far behind. My ship's busted, man. And you're the only guy who can fix it. raised me, man. Look, my mom said you're responsible for whatever happens to me. The least you can do is let me in. The least I can do is nothing. Well, you better come on in then before someone sees you. Make yourself right at home? Oh! I thought it was just you, Quill. Not all your little playmates. Hey, no plants on the roof. I am Groot. That means you would be. These guys are my family, Yondu. Great. Okay, quick introductions then. This is Gamora. Say now. Nice to meet you. Put that away, or I'll cut it off. That's Groot. Drax, say hi. These are terrible. What do you think you're doing? That's my food. Mine! A warrior must eat. And last but not least, Rocket. R Rocket! I don't trust Ravagers, Quill. They'll shoot you in the back the first moment they get. Well, I don't trust animals that can talk. Wanna hear me talk? Okay. I'm gonna blow your friggin' head off. Rocket, <laughs> we are guests inside Yandu's beautiful home. Please don't blow it and everyone inside of it to tiny little pieces. This place is already a garbage heap. A little kaboom would do it good. What the hell? 
I've been buying black market trinkets off this little freak for years. And I've been gladly accepting this idiot's money. You got anything new for me? Oh, we got some. But it ain't for sale. Well, ain't she a beaut? Fit it right in with my collection. Could clear some space. One can never have too many trinkets and little doodads. Oh, oh, before you get too attached, you should know the Kree are after it. They're willing to kill for it, too. Oh, I was just having a bit of fun. Because I'd rather have the Kree after your hide than mine. Let me see that thing. Beautiful. Sometimes it takes stepping back from your problems to see how small they actually are. These last few months haven't been easy. For either of us. But, um... I'm not always gonna be here. I worry about you. You're growing up so fast. I know, Mom. I'll do better. I know you will. You're meant for more than this life, Peter. I know you are. You're gonna save the galaxy. You're gonna kill Thanos. And change everything. Wait! This... This isn't how it happened. You... You didn't say that before. Please, trust me, baby. I'm trying to help you. Every time I look up there, I find something new. Something I overlooked. Come sit by me, baby. Hmm? You can see the stars even better from over here. Peter, please? Just for a little bit. Yeah, of course, Mom. Just for a minute, though, okay? That's good. So, what am I supposed to be looking at? The stars. I know they don't look like much, but you keep staring and suddenly they come alive. You start filling in the spaces, the lines between points in the sky, and you see it all clearly for the first time. I think that one is Canis Major? It's shaped like a dog. That's right. You wanted a pup so badly when you were younger. But you could never have one. Too much money. Closest thing you were ever going to get was that constellation. You used to wish that dog sweet dreams every single night. That's Orion. No doubt about it. <laughs> it is indeed. First constellation you ever learned. That's, uh, that's Gemini, right? The twins? Yep. You used to say they were dancing together. Yeah. I thought it was you and, and Dad. You have one active imagination, Peter. <laughs> that looks like the Eternity Forge. Sure does. Look closer. That writing... It wasn't there before! What... What does it say? Mom? Come find me, Peter. <laughs> 